must have been like kind of a whirlwind for you coming to to Sundance, having a standing ovation on your opening night. Yeah. How's it? How's the whole experience, the ride, been so far? Um, overwhelming and um, surreal. Uh, more like surreal. I just keep saying thank you. I just keep saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Come, come up to me and be able to print it and express what the film meant to me. Surreal, if, if there was one word to describe everything, like from the moment it was announced, it's just like surreal. Like, mm. That's where it like, changed. It's like, surreal. Um, yeah. Could you pinpoint like one specific incident at Sundance where somebody came up to you? Like, what was uh, what kind of story did they have to to tell you that uh, the film spoke to you? So I started out wanting to do, you know, my 
focusing on film and I did like I've done like I've done a bunch of like short films and grad thesis films, NYU films and um, a little PSA stuff. And then I don't know, I don't know, maybe theater maybe was a little scary. I don't know, maybe I just I didn't know if there was a place for me in theater, but I've been able to do um, the first play, real play that I did was um, up in at the Long Wharf and in the in Hartford stage at the Blue Sky. Last year, I was able to do a play at Young Wack. Um, so, I, I, and both projects were just really kind of like the whole same thing with Brian. Like just the material was just so, like, people walked away, like, just learning something different and touching. And, um, yeah, so I started out with film, and then I, I really discovered this love of theater. Um, and, yeah, so I think film is still the focus because I, I feel like film is a far reaching medium. Up and down, I was just kind of like, wow, like, wow, we're really gonna, we're really gonna do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how 
was the experience of shooting the feature compared to shooting the short? Did it just seem longer, or was it a more taxing experience on the part of you as an actor? Um, it was longer, which I loved. I, you know, I loved being on set. I loved the fact that what was so exciting was that I, I would get to be on set every day. I knew it would get tired, but people would be. Well, I didn't actually think it would be tired, but people would be like, "Oh, you know, it's going to be tired." And I was like, "I'm ready for." She's from Nigeria yeah, as well, yeah, yeah. and you know her parents are very strict. Mm -hmm. How has it been, you know, uh, going yeah. to them, telling them th about the content that yeah. you're going to be shooting, about the content that you're going to be shooting? My, um, actually, the reason why I found out is because my father passed away, and he passed away really young, and suddenly, and I realized I was going to med school. You know, it was like every my father's dream to have all his kids in one of seven to become doctors. Um, and I realized in school that I didn't like this, I didn't think I hated it. And when he had died, it was like a real wake up call. It was like, I like to show you something you don't want me to do. So, you know, I took an acting class my senior year. I loved it. I was like, I'm going to be an actor. I had no idea what that meant. So when I graduated, my mom was like, So, what's up with med school? Like, I was like, uh, I'm not going to med school. I'm going to be an actor. She said, she really thought I went crazy. She thought that was just my father is dead, that everything, I, something like she really was like, I went crazy. And, um, and I, thought, I also think too, like she was really worried, like, you know, when you go to med school, it's like a straight shot. Like, I'll be in my parents' dreams for their kids to be fulfilled, stable. And, and, and I think she knew without really knowing, because she's not from the country, she doesn't really know what it is to be. She didn't really know what does that mean to be an actor. Like, what? Can you make money from that? But I think she instinctively. She was just very like, I wish you would just go back to school for anything, you know, like she, you know, but, um, but, um, she was, uh, right now she's just very, very supportive. And actually when she saw the film the first time, I didn't tell her what it was about. I didn't even think to tell her what it was about. I just didn't, I just didn't think about it. So, um, <laughs> she saw the computer because it was when, she saw the short, um, was screening it online. They did like a like stream ten films online. Yeah. So I had my brother set it up for her to watch it. And so, <laughs> so when I told my I told somebody that my mother was watching, like, did you tell her what it was about? And I said no. <laughs> and they were like, they were like, Ag, you should. And I was like, oh, because you know, and then seeing I'm wearing a dodo, I didn't even think about it. Wow. And then so then I called. So then I, well, my mother, she's pretty like, she's you know, she's a really like warm, open person. So I, 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 I guess I knew that she wasn't going to be like, you know, praying over me or anything like that, like, you know, crazy. So I called her and I said, so, mom, what did you think? And she was just like, she was like, well, I laughed in some parts. And, uh, yeah, she, she just, she's weird. I don't know if she knows how to talk about how she feels, but now she's really supportive. And, you know, when I said, when I, when I told you that we were going back to Sundance, she was like, again? 
Like she didn't really get like those 